Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in the last episode, we went over how to make your different view pools here um, so you can quickly transition between workflow. In this video, we are going to go over worlds and what they are and how to use them. So uh, what we need to do is first we need to add a world pool. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. Let's just add it to this main page that we're in here uh, just for an example. So what we'll do is we'll uh, give ourselves some space here. We'll click on an empty pool tile and we'll go to pools and we'll go to worlds. Okay, so from here, what we are going to do is we are going to, uh, well, th there's two ways, of course, to do this. We can either create worlds by uh, clicking on our groups and then hitting store and then clicking on a world, okay? Or we can do it through the auto create menu, which I prefer doing. So uh, again, you can do it that way for all your worlds. Um, and then we are, let's see, we'll go into setup and then we'll go to auto create over here. And then we're gonna go to the worlds tab and we're gonna select all of them and hit create. And make sure all your fixtures are selected, that's important. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hit create, created two worlds. Cool, thanks. All right, so now we have our two worlds here. We have our, this is our mid-stage truss and this is our, um, Downstage truss. Okay. Um, so um, now we have our worlds created. Well, what are they? And like, how do they work? Well, worlds is a way to um, basically solo out different sections of your rig. Uh, so for say, if I only wanted to see one type of fixture in my entire rig, I can make a group for that. And then I can store it to a world. And when I click on that, now the only thing I'll be able to edit or uh, when we get into layout views, uh, we would only be able to see that type of fixture in the layout view, uh, which is really handy, especially for making complicated uh, selections because MA is very, um, you know, it, it's big on selection order, uh, which we will get to in a further episode. But worlds is something you're definitely gonna wanna make whenever you uh, get into uh, your show file, it just makes your life so much easier. You could get away without uh, making worlds for a show file, but promise me, it saves headaches down the road. Uh, one important note about worlds, say you're running a show and you were like editing your downstage truss. Well, if you start running your show, you're not gonna have control over anything else that's in your patch except for the downstage truss. You can see it here. Uh, you can see um, our mid-stage quantums they're not you, like you can't do anything with them. They're read it out, right? But um, I'll clear that. Uh, but uh, we can select our downstage, right? Because that is the world that we're in. We go into our full world. Now we can control our entire rig. So that's just something that that is important. If you have worlds and you're like, you know, why are my fixtures not working? Why don't I not have any control of them? It's probably because you're not in your full world. So just keep that in mind. Always go back to full world when you are done messing with them. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.